Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter and Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Thursday, April the 7th, seven stories on April the 7th. I'm going to get straight to it. First up, Pacific Northwest Capital, PFN on the TSX, has announced the completion of the River Valley PGM Joint Venture Acquisition. Here are the highlights. This is a big press release. Congratulations, my friend Harry Barr Spiros and his team over at PFN. Uh, River Valley Project is one of Canada's largest primary platinum group metals deposits. It's an NI43101 compliant resource. Over 110,000 meters and 550 holes have been drilled to date. That's massive. A $5 million exploration program is planned in two phases. A total of, uh, a total of 8.1 million shares and change. Uh, of the company, plus three-year warrants to purchase up to three million shares. The company at a price of 30 cents. That's the price that PFN Capital is paying. A lot of quotes here. Uh, most of the best one I found was Spiros Kakos, who's manager of IR, who said, standalone PGM, pro PGM projects are rare in North America. This is the second major acquisition of its kind in recent months. Back in October, Stillwater Mining acquired the platinum assets of uh, Marathon PGM in a cash and shares deal that was valued at $118 million. Uh, PFN closed yesterday 30 cents, 52 week low, 8 cents, 52 week high, 36 cents. So great news out of the company, and his shareholders have to be happy. So good news to Harry Spurs and the entire gang. Next up, Sentiment Egypt, CEE, on the big board TSX. They put out their first quarter results uh, from their Sukari. Uh, looks like from the, from the Sukara project in Egypt. These are preliminary project results, uh, and that tells you that they want to get these numbers out before they make their filing. That means they're really happy about them. It looks like they poured 45,200 ounces of gold for the quarter. Uh, the company says they're largely unaffected by the political events in Egypt. That's pretty important. And along with that, higher grade ore that was scheduled for Q1 will be mined and processed during Q2. Close yesterday, 227. 187 on the 52 week low, 328 on the high. So, congratulations to Joseph and his team over there. Next up, Nevada Resource uh, trades under VDO on the venture for our friends in Germany, NSV. They announced that they intersect up to 62.5 meters, grading 59.8% 59, 59 iron, 17.9% titanium, and it looks like 0.08% vanadium. As you can guess, is an iron, titanium, vanadium project. Uh, closed yesterday, 54 cents, 52 week range, 10 on the low, 74 cents on the high. So great news out of the company. Uh, NQ Exploration, TSX Venture, NQE, announced that their silver, uh, silver zones have been confirmed and a gold silver zone has been discovered at depth. These are new drill results. A lot, uh, uh, these are new drill results. In addition to that, a discovery of a gold-rich zone at a vertical depth of 600 meters that the company says returned up to 11.75 grams ton of gold. Uh, they, the results confirm the continuity of the silver zones. That's according to the company. But they still say the highlight here is the discovery of a new gold zone with associated silver and zinc. Uh, the company's got 11 mining properties in the James Bay and Abitibi regions of Quebec. Great place to be. 13 cents uh, close yesterday, 9 cents on the 52 week low, 8 cents on the 52 week high. Mark cap about $4.17 million here. Let me see if I got a symbol for it. Uh, looks like they've opened up pretty big, 17 and a half cents, up 4 and a half cents on 223,000 shares already this morning, just the first few minutes of trading. So, congratulations to David and his team uh, over at NQ Exploration. Next up, Anfield Nickel. They announced that they intersected 22 meters, grading 2.52% nickel, including 11.5 meters, grading 3.30%. This from their nickel project in Guatemala. Go take a look at those numbers. 406 close, 255 on the 52-week low, $5 on the high. So they're doing very well over there. Congratulations, David Stang and his team. And uh, last two stories, got a lot of them, unbelievable news. Lumina Copper, LCC, TSX Venture, 318 meters grading point, 95% copper equivalent. Uh, this up there, 100% uh, owned Taka Taka project in Argentina. It's a copper gold molly project. That's why they're giving you the results in copper equivalent. Uh, now, typically, this is out of the range of most of the investors that watch the show. Close yesterday at $7.28. But why am I covering it today? 52 week low, 90 cents. How about that for a great return? That's the kind of return you can achieve if you do great due diligence. 
That's why you've got to be on top of the space. Congratulations to the entire, the entire Lumina Copper team. And finally, before I lose my breath, Exile Resources, E-R-I. Uh, they announced reserve estimates for the company's Akipo property, uh, which is offshore in Nigeria. Uh, it looks like uh, 80,700 80, gross barrels of oil equivalent. That's in the proved reserves category. 491,000 barrels of oil equivalent in the proved plus probable. And 1.7 million barrels of oil equivalent in the proved plus probable plus possible. However, even though it sounds like a big number, the company says there's a 10% probability that the quantities actually recovered are going to hit that probable possible and proven number. So uh, uh, govern yourself accordingly there. Nonetheless, some pretty good numbers uh, uh, just, just in the proved and the proved plus probable. Talking about 400, let's call it 500,000 barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, do the math there. That's some pretty good numbers considering we're trading at uh, over $100 on uh, Brent and the heavy stuff and the light sweet crude. So it's all good. They closed yesterday 14 cents. Six and a half on the low, 31 cents on the 52 week high. Mark cap uh, as of yesterday, $13 million. So uh, that's pretty good value given what may be there. Congratulations to Tony Henshaw and his team. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity, but today, a lot of quality. If you watch this on Globe, take a look at the companies we've covered over the past few days. If you're on Agoracom, watch the show, watch the archives, take a look at the best headlines on the front page and get into the marketplace to discover your next great small cap company. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.